Welcome back to Battletech with the mod Extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining me today. We've still got some more contracts to run here. Uh, with Renegade coming up, I think, because our mechs are trying to... Our mech... Our Lance <laughs> is trying to make friends with our uh, Torian buddies here. Actually, there's an easy mission to run right here, but we do have some pretty good mechs that are up. The only problem is it's Martian, and, and Martian uh, climate does make it a little bit harder to sink our heat. And we do run hot on a few mechs, but we have the Brawler, and the enemy also is going to be running hot too. So here it says uh, we have an inside job. A mech warrior stationed there has murdered. The rest of the staff is defecting to local pirate. They have a valuable Torian mech with her. But we need to go track her down and take out the pirates as well. So whatever we're coming up against, it's valuable. So uh, I could bump this up, but I think it's going to be a bunch of light mechs supporting. Two skulls, light or medium. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a chance here. Go for the money. Now we're going to get some good, good friendship out of this, but the pirates aren't going to like us very much anymore. I mean, we're stealing one of their good mechs away. All right, we're going to drop all of our guys off here that aren't doing anything. Um, Obsidian is back up. We can run Moped uh, instead of Download. Moped's a little bit better off, I think, there. Uh, our Shadowhawk Medium. We don't really have anybody to split up firing anymore. So the Griffin... Let's put Kopesh in the Griffin, as I think we have done in the past. And for our Shadowhawk... Um, hmm. I would like to give Tick some opportunity to fight, but I think I might just stick with one of our people who is higher up. Yeah, let's let's put download in there, I think. Um Other than that, I think we could technically if we really wanted to switch out the fire starter here for the shadow hawk. This fire starter has the extra MGs that are pretty pretty powerful. But the Shadowhawk with the LRM and the SRM and the AC-5 hits hard enough that it might be worth it to keep there. Plus the ballistic damage is buffed slightly. So let's keep the Shadowhawk, I think. Plus it's got 800 armor. Our buddy here says, I have a bad feeling about this commander. If they want that mech torch, I'm guessing it's relatively powerful. Be careful. Don't Come think they realize that we've got the brawler. <laughs> that last heavy mech had to learn the hard way. All right, so I've seen some hell holes in my time. one of my commenters asked a little bit about some of the battles and what goes on because uh, it might be a little bit confusing to a new person who is just kind of feeling things out. One of the things you notice if I zoom really close here is you can see the white dots. That's just normal terrain. But here we've got a green one. And if you mouse over it, it shows you whirlwinds here or whatever it is, gives you cover. And what is cover? Well, it provides 20% damage reduction against ranged attacks. Uh, also, our brace, if you look at that, removes unsteady. If we're getting knocked around, you can see under our mech here, there is a bar. This yellow bar here has a threshold, and if it goes above that threshold, we will get knocked down. And if it blows off our leg, we have a red slot here, so we actually have more stability that uh, we lose. So that's the other thing. This bar is the heat bar right here. If we go above this, uh, it will our mech will overheat. If we max it out, we will shut down. And see our little pips down here are the things that we can do. You mouse over each one, it will tell you uh, what happens. So here you can see max injuries are increased. Uh, prevents three injuries against a mech warrior in the Thunderbolt. Earthworks uh, takes only 25% crits. One source provides this effect, that's the Earthwork, so we can actually endure better. 
And uh, Martian biome, we only sink 75% of our normal heat, so we're 25% less efficient. So if we get into the cover and we pop our brace here, uh, first of all, we gain guarded, which is a 40% damage reduction against ranged attacks to the front and side, and entrenched, which is plus 50% stability too. Um, and that's partially because of, of his um, bulwark skill. But also, if he's in there, he gets 20% more, so that's 60% damage decrease. So having them stand in the trees, or in this cover here, is quite good if we pop the brace. Now, we, if we don't have the ability... We want to fight, we can't pop brace, because brace is not going to let us do anything else. So we can use our vigilance... Uh, resolve here. It says our lance gains 18 resolve each round when the, we're at 50%. We gain inspired, gaining plus one bonus accuracy to all attacks. That's where we're targeting. But we can spend that. We, it costs 30 resolve to spend the vigilance. We gain guarded and entrench, which is basically the brace there. But uh, it also does the benefit of increasing our initiative by one. And of course, precision strike. The target's initiative is reduced by one, so we hurt them. But we take a called shot with increased difficulty uh, against a single target. Uh, well, at a decreased difficulty, at a minus four difficulty there. Well, I can show you that here. If we mouse over our weapons, you can see all their stats and so on, their optimal range. And if I select the mech, uh, you can see that it does try to give me a layout here of... This one's actually not good to show you with. What are your orders? Griffin. If I select the Griffin... Uh, it does show you his overall firing arc. So he can fire close, but that's not optimal. Out here is much better, and even further he can fire. That kind of shows you their optimal range. So let's get them moving. Since uh, some of you already know how to play. Here's a rough terrain of 150% stability damage. Plus more difficulty to hit units within rough terrain with melee attacks, because it's unstable. So it increases their chance to miss with melee. hard to balance and get a good swing off, in other words. The enemies do have an escort. So we're on our way there. Oh, there's the escort. So everybody has a chance to move before we get into a fight here, so we're going to go ahead and close in on them. The brawler needs to get close to... I don't see any good terrain. Run the brawler this way because there's more evasion who's this our griffin is way too close he's still got a lot of armor yeah let's get him over here heading out he's still pretty tough all my guys are pretty armored up all right so the initiative order has been set here and you can see he reserved so they knock their initiative down it's waiting to see what i do we have a stinger, nothing special, a wasp, just like I expected, light mechs, and maybe a couple mediums. Mediums usually start at, at three, and lights at four, heavies at two, and assault class at one. So right now, uh, moped is up. Yep. Moped cannot get close enough to engage, so I think moped's going to reserve, because we want them to move closer so we can punch them. And we plus, if we move, we're going to lose our evasion. That's what we wanted right there. If they, they shoot at you, you lose an evasion. Yep. Well, a chance to lose one because if you're um, specialized in movement there. But because there's a mech behind him, he got a stray shot, and you saw that stray shot hit the griffin a little bit. All right, so moped will move. What do you need? Got a lot of evasion, but uh, that doesn't matter much for punching. And now I can choose where to punch straight on, but then I would turn my back to some of them and side to another. I would like to have my front to everybody. Just like any tank, the front is more more protected because there's more targets. If they shoot me from the front, as you see my mech up here, uh, they have they would roll, and there's a roll to hit each each part. So they'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts to hit, and the head has a smaller chance to hit it because it's so small. But uh, there's a chance to hit all of those, and then. Uh, uh, if they shot at me in the front, for example, they rolled a certain number, it would hit my torso, another shot would hit my arm, and it's random where it hits, it's a, a, a RNG roll. And of course there is a chance to hit the head, and the head in, in most mechs is not armored well, but it is unlikely to hit, but it does happen. So um, if you turn to the side though, if you're on the side, you only have 
uh, a little bit to hit. The head, of course, is still there, but you've got um, the arm and the torso and the leg, the, the, the torso and the leg and so on. So instead, you've got less chance to hit all of this other stuff. So head on, I can spread all the damage out through my mech, whereas on the side, it's concentrated on that one group of, of parts. So you can actually get on the side and, and uh, do more damage actually by grinding through to the center torso rather than just hitting the arm, hitting the other arm, hitting the torso on one side, hitting the leg, hitting the leg, hitting the other arm. Instead, you're just focusing all damage on either the leg or the arm. And that is, if it takes out the legs, kind of knock them down. It's pretty dramatic. And of course the rear, if you see the front of this guy, his armor is 30 and the chest and his rear is a 20. So the rear is always a better place to fight. His two torsos are 10. Uh, <clears throat> one third. The armor in the back is always weaker in tanks, and it's the same with your mechs, too. So, to keep lined up here with the mechs that are closing in on me, I'm going to hit this guy, uh, Stinger, from the side, because it's side hit for him. And you can see it's, it's glowing here. You can see the, the, uh, the glowing red if I pick that. It's going to be a side. Could hit him in, the, in that uh, back part as well. Potentially, but Understood. we're gonna run over there and see what happens here. So, sir, we we hit him probably in the torso. Right torso was destroyed, and his uh, arm came off with it because once the torso's gone, the arm's gone. We shot through, hit his head, and injured him. His headshots tend to injure. Did not kill him though. Take a look at him though. You can see we took off his head armor. He's only got six left. His torso has one. That's that's what happened. So we probably hit his torso, blew it off, it took off the arm, and then everything got transferred inward. And you see how we see some damage to his leg as well. I'm not sure if that went through the back or the front. I think it tends to go through the front part if you're hitting from the side. The back, I think, is only when you do the back arc. But it did glow there, so maybe it does the back. I can't quite remember. Maybe something to, to take a look at later. All right, uh, well, see, he's only got an MG left, so I'm not too worried about him. Or Shadowhawk. Standing by. Uh, let's see. Now, when you move, you can actually uh, want to make sure you've got your rotations in so that you can fire at who you want to fire at. But at the same time, you have to think that your mech is facing that way, too. So if I wanted to turn my left side to somebody, I would... I would for example, if I wanted to hit this guy right here, this wasp, um, here's a hit, but there's a line of sight problem. You can see it pur turn purple. But I want to turn my mech as far as I can to the left so it's favoring the left side. That's what I would do right here. Turn him just he can hit, but most of the mech is facing out this way. So I'd rather get hit in the side than in the front. Uh, and you can rotate completely the other way. So here I could rotate, almost put my back to them if I, my front armor was completely shredded. Um, but let's move straight on here. Um, Moving to position. I'm not sure exactly who I'm going to shoot at yet, but I'm going to take a look here. The chances to hit him are pretty low, and you can highlight it and see why. Eh, the minimum range is too close for the auto cannon there. Um, it's a very long range weapon, and minimum range gives it a plus six difficulty. The target moved, it gets a plus ten. And he's also small, so he gets a plus three, and a plus 19 to hit him with the AC. However, the small laser is arm mounted. Arm weapons and arms are more accurate. The target size is only plus three, and the shot modifier is altogether plus two because the, they don't care about the movement and so on. The SRMs have that movement problem, target size problem, but it's on the torso, so it doesn't get anything else. There's another uh, mech a little further out that a trebuchet is what I actually would like to kill. I'm not worried about the wasp, but trebuchet has 30 rockets to fire at me here. AC5, 78%. LRM5, 78%. Roger that. And I missed, but I did hit the one in the back with the AC cannon. I didn't even see him and I still hit him. It's a shadow hawk. Brawler. Ready to rock. 
All right, so the griffin uh, would like to fall back a little bit and deal with these medium mechs, I think. Try to get into the whirlwind for some cover, since he's more of a sniper style. Um, the shadow hawk. I think we're going after trebuchet because the PPC uh, does mess with their targeting a bit. Fun pass. Sensors. Sensors impaired. So, I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, sensors pairs adds one difficulty to all the unit's attacks until the next activation, so made it a little harder for him to hit us. Here's our Thunderbolt. He gonna close in. He's big, he's slow, he's got lots of targets. Let's divide this up with multi-target skill. Starting with the Trebuchet. And then the Shadow Hawk, and then let's maybe try to finish off this weak guy here and see what we got. All right. Uh, switching to the one in front is a better shot with the AC5. Everything else is everything. Else, it's too far away for anything else, so we'll just fire everything else on on C here. Engaging. That was a good hit. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Enemy mech destroyed. That'll make our team a little bit happier. Give us some more resolve. Uh-oh. Something went through. Flamer crit. MG crit. That hit something important. Didn't destroy him. Uh-oh. That was a long-range shot. Somewhere. That didn't destroy him, but it definitely took him down a notch. I'm here. So now we have a problem. Now our, if this mech is facing me, it's the front, so that's the left side. This side is really weak. It's exposed. Oh, he's only got one structure there. If he loses that structure, he loses everything on that side. And you can see he loses his flamer, his arm mod, which is what he's punching with. So that's very dangerous for him right now. He needs to turn away. I think uh, the best thing to do would be to run. To run from them. I want to turn my. Uh, not back completely to my right side because the left side is so beat up. So I don't. I'm going to hide that against the rock there. Even lots of evasion. What is that, champion? Okay, that must be our target. Or is that champion? Champion is a heavy mech, as expected. AC-10 is quite dangerous. Nothing else is too impressive. He's fully loaded in armor. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Copy that, Commander. Griffin closer to the... Whirlwind each time. Rebuchet. Head on shot with the um, PPC. Rebuchet's run hot. You can see he's kind of heating. He just lost his arm. That hit something good. His torso, I think, is the one that carries at least one LRM 15. Waiting for orders. I'll Shadowhawk's gonna turn his back on that tiny little wasp. I don't care about that thing running around. All right. Trebuchet has now lost. Yeah, one of those LRM-15s is on his arm, and he had a medium laser there, so he's not as big of a threat anymore. Still got a lot of armor overall. I'm going to start banging away on uh, our buddy here, the Shadowhawk. Locked on. There we expose some structure. There we go. 
Right arm destroyed on him too. I think I hit something good. Still not worried about the wasp very much. Um, got a couple good shots here. I'd rather split this up. Let's see. The medium laser I'm going to put on the trebuchet because he's right in front of me. Well, actually, I would keep one medium laser on the one in the distance since it's the same chance to hit. And the SRMs are all going on the trebuchet, so maximizing my chance to hit. I think we just have we have enough firepower to kill them, so just maximizing my hits are the most efficient way to handle this, I think, right now. Engaging multiple targets. He's unsteady, because he's kind of could get knocked down if I keep hitting him. Now we're inspired. Plus one to hit. Plus one uh, I think if I remember right here we can mouse over it. Uh, we get a plus one bonus to accuracy, right? Aye, aye. Okay, can we get behind him? It's a little bit risky. I think we better hit him from the side here so we keep our right side turned to everybody else. We don't have a whole lot of evasion, but we're going to see if we can't mess him up real bad. There goes his torso. Grinding into the inner parts of his mech there. This guy's... Dangerous thing. Miss, miss, miss. Coming around on the side of my thunderbolt. That's not appreciated. Skipper. I think we can fall back into the dust cloud here because of the uh, way that he's facing. It's hard to spin around. I have to choose which way I'm going to face. I'm going to try to mess with the champion here. You. We are a sniper, and he's the furthest away. Unload everything on him. Fire it. Target damage. Concentrate your fire. You that was pretty good. Down. Looked like all hits. Well, he's close to getting knocked down. He's unsteady. But he's going to gain some of that back now that he had a turn. Let's see if he's still unsteady. Where is he? Shadowhawk? No, after his turn, it goes back down to that arrow. That's how that works. We can knock him up. we got to hit him to three to knock him down up three, but he'll drop back down to that if he doesn't get hit or if he uh, is stable. So, uh, download here hawk? our Shadowhawk. He'll probably come down here maybe and rotate back to try to protect our brawler a little. Give him another target, hopefully. fires the medium laser. We'll turn off the AC because there is a recoil penalty if we keep shooting it. Mouse over it. Refire plus one. So that's the keep shooting it and it gets a recoil penalty. We'll shut it off. It's not very accurate there anyway. Shot the LRMs. And, well, that's so many of them we might as well just fire them. Affirmative. Just got a heat sink. Critical hit, Commander. It was all structure, too. And he just moved. Alright, our Thunderbolt is in a bit of a fight right now, so let's pull him over here and rotate back. Actually, uh, let's get him... No, that's un unstable. Unstable. The trebuchet just ran for it. I think we're going to go try to take down the Shadow Hawk. We're overheating right now. Um, if we shut down the AC-5, <laughs> we could fire everything. You can see here where we're at. We're going to build up a lot of heat here. We'll be right at the threshold. That's okay. We'll finish him off. Or not. 
Oh, there he goes. He had panicked and ejected. That's mostly the mod. You won't see that in the base game very much. But it is cool. I do like that. Injury avoided was a head hit. I'm here. All right. Our brawler needs to still be ca very careful here. His left side is weak, but we're going to close in anyway. We're going to kind of stay a little hidden. Hit behind a rock to hopefully get some... Give him some penalty for line of sight to try to shoot over that. We're closing in on the heavy mech, even with our injured arm. Oh, he's going to run. Oof. That AC is going to hit hard if it's going to hit me. Warning. Armor low. Uh oh. Good to go. Hey, okay, Shadowhawk. Shoot close back I in. Copy. Enemies here. Look back at that back on. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and fire on that champion with everything. If it hits there. Cover plus bulwark, 20%. I'm catching some serious shit here, Commander. Or 20 plus 20%. That bulwark is a good thing. Yep. Copy that. Move a little bit. That gives us some evasion. And fire on the champion. All weapons. Go. That got through. Medium laser crit. Reporting. Structure was the orange damage there. We're getting some low armor on our left side here. Let's try to get kind of back up here a little bit. I'm going to turn more, I think. We're putting our back to this wasp, but I'm just not that scared of it. I mean, we could just light it up right here, the trebuchet. He is still a danger. I'm going to have to shut down some stuff. Two medium lasers? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Left torso is destroyed. Our target is making a break. Uh oh. Yeah, we've got rear armor. Aye, aye. Yeah, and we need to keep our right side to this guy. That should be pretty good. We're kind of getting behind him looking for the punch. If he's just going to run for it. We may have to try to run him down. Actually, he's going to expose his rear arc to us Commander. by doing that. his rear arc at and we can get right up on him if we wanted to let's do it acknowledged I think we'll probably fire everything even though oh it's just not that great for the AC let's turn it off we'll fire the rest target lock on the rear right there I really thought that trebuchet would go down she did <laughs> after that. Armor holding. Orders. Uh, Griffin is in the rear arc right now. Let's let him hold position. Um, turn completely to the side here. So we're facing him, but we're firing at the champion right now. Locking off. It is rear arc. through a bit. Alright. Right side is weakened. That's about the best we can do here. Got a lot of heat coming off us. We could Vigilance Brace. That would uh, knock some of the heat off, I believe. Yeah, 
I think we're just going to have to fire from here. Uh, why don't we precision strike him? Right now we're very close to top 90%, 95% result, but I think we're going to precision strike him. I'm going to try to hit him in that weak spot. He's almost falling over, too. Let's see what happens here. Wow, yeah, we got him. Blew off his torso just like we planned. And we got his stability all the way up. Yeah, he was falling over. He ejected. He was going to fall over anyway, so he just punched out. Now it's got to be careful with what we've got left and not lose Standing anything. By. Keep that right side. Acknowledged. Facing our enemies. Brawler's looking for a lucky hit. Oh, he's got to back up and shoot at the brawler. Watch. He fired at the left side, too. Ooh. All right. Receiving you. No problem. Shadowhawk looking over here. Blue is the flanking shot. Yeah, let's try to take out the trebuchet. Kind of not the ideal side, but we'll go ahead and shoot it. Engaging with target. He missed. Oh, we set off his ammo. <laughs> Enemy down. Ammo explosion. Lost most of his body there. I think he's... Is he done? Yeah, I think he just collapsed. Confirm. There's pieces of him rolling down the hill. I'm there. Getting to the optimal zone here. Fire from cover. Are we going to overheat? Nope. Fire everything. Here we go. Missed. A couple minor hits. Um... I don't think it's... I'm going to go up and punch him. 73% chance to hit him. Let's just go punch him. We're already overheating anyway, almost, so... Ah, we just tore his chest apart. <laughs> I was going to overheat if I just shot everything over and over again, so... Give him a chance to just punch and then see what he's got left to fire next round. For heat. No problem. Mission Good mission. Successful. Champion might be a nice grab if there's pieces of it. Let's see if the Taurians will give us much of it. Brawler nearly lost his arm mod again. Oh, they're going to give us one piece of it. There we go. Anything good out of that? Nope. Or I could take two pieces of the trebuchet. Let's see, the champion has a large engine. Recon and striker. Plus two extra to hit penalty when standing up. Cannot sprint that round. Yeah, he's not actually that good for a heavy class mech now that I think about it. He, he's got three energy weapons, three missile, and one decent size auto cannon, which I guess is pretty good. The Trebuchet, on the other hand, has four energy weapons and two, and he's only medium, but fast to repair and lots of LRMs. Could put together another stinger. Well, I'm going to grab one Trebuchet and hope that I get another one. We do have eight more pieces coming in. Priority two, which I selected, we got uh, six more, sorry, six more coming in. Yeah, we got the other trebuchet piece, randomly. That's nice. We also got the other stinger. We can sell it. Don't need a thousand stingers. Yeah. Sell it. We don't need it. Okay. Check our mech pilots that ran on that mission. Standing by. Uh, we had Kopesh. Confirmed. Hey, Kopesh can get up a little higher there. Training confirmed, Commander. Made Obsidian. And he's uh, almost ready to grab the coolant vent. 
And who else do we have? Moped. Let's what do you need? Yeah, moped is uh, not there yet. Okay, good. As far as our mech warriors go, I think we've uh, got three available. Hmm. Do need to repair. Two days to repair that guy, our brawler. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Two of our fire starters are now down, and the brawler is one of our big hitters too. He tends to do quite a bit of work for us. That focused, big damage going in just tears through their armor. And if he he's fast, so he gets around behind too. I think we could probably wait a couple days. Um, there's still some good stuff to run here. Straight up battles are always fun. So I'm going to wait a couple days to get our mech back and maybe grab at least Fireball here. Noble Bonds. It's not like I'm the only Noble Burn person on the ships, it says Sturm, slumping low in your guest chair. I mean, there's you. Why can't Crab Shack harass you? about their stupid idea. <laughs> Apparently, when Sturm asked to speak to you privately about something Darius wouldn't understand, it was about trials and tribulations of being nobility. Well, what is Crab Shack's idea, you ask? I don't know. Something about cooling systems. They want me to use my connections to get the idea to people who can impl implement it. And they don't believe me when I say that my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. And even if it did, I can't waste it on BS. Sturm gives you a plaintive look. Clearly hoping for your advice, or at least sympathy. Hmm. Wants advice or sympathy? Well, I mean, it makes sense. They use my connections to get... But I don't believe... But they don't believe me when I say that's my birth doesn't automatically... Yeah, it makes sense. Tell them I'll just have crab shacks come to me next time. I don't mind sharing the burden, especially when it comes to somebody with Crab Shack's background. When they show up at your door, you can scan the roughly written idea and tell Crab Shack it to work up a full 200-page spec before bringing it back in. If they can manage it, it might be worth pursuing no lasting consequences. So nobody's upset about that. That works. Take another day by. Alright, one more day and we get a whole mess of people back. So that's good. But we can still afford to run... Our mechs are all repaired and ready to go, and might as well run our next mission. Thanks for joining. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode.